My name is Noah Mora. Uh, I play quads and I marched RCC this past winter and I was supposed to march Blue Devils this summer. What made me want to join the marching vlogs drumline? So Sergio gave me the call and like right away I was like, yes, I want to do it because like nothing like this is ever going to happen again. And like this will probably be the best drumline I ever play with. So I was like, like, how could you say no to that? You know, I think the biggest difference between this season and RCC is that, well, first of all, RCC is like, you work for that competition, you know, like you're working towards that goal of playing at finals and UD, but here we're working towards the goal of just being like super clean. Cause we're just like competing with ourselves, you know, it's like trying to like make something super solid and like, that like people are gonna enjoy. On this quad line, the person who drums the most similar to me, I don't know, I feel like I drum the most with Robert though. So I feel like him and I have like the most like similar sound. <laughs> we drew, Noah and I got really close this past winter. Hi, my name is Robert Lee, and I recently marched with the Blue Coats this past summer in 2019, and I marched this past winter with RCC. Right. Some of my most influential teachers include uh, Jonathan Wicks, you know, he was like my foundational, you know, quad approach. Ike Jackson, you know, in terms of just how, how, to, how to teach and get everybody on the same page mentally. Um, Miguel Guadarrama, you know, Miguel Guadarrama, like, like most recent, but definitely one of most influential in terms of how I drum now. I think that like in terms of who I want to, who I really want to look like, I don't feel like I look like anybody, but if I, my hands had to look like anybody as I drummed, I would pick him. I do not feel like I have to adopt a certain style of drumming when it comes to like drumming with those other four dudes. Yeah, I think, you know, just having gone through our, our first exercise already, you know, it, it looks like we all we all understand what, what needs to be done, you know, as far as like technique, like what parts of our bodies we have to use and how to play good rhythms and listen to each other. I don't think the style is that important. I think as we get closer to the show, the debut, I think that will definitely play a factor. I think the struggle will be getting the RCC guys to look like the other guys. I think that it, I, Elijah or Daniel would, would have to drum the most different. Oh, undoubtedly, it's is Daniel K. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's yeah. yeah. <laughs> My name is Daniel, and I'm a quad drummer. The last group that I marched with was Broken City. So preparing for the marching vlogs drumline feels a lot like an audition. Actually, you get a lot of music in a short amount of time, and you have to learn it um, pretty much by yourself and come ready to show what you have prepared. Getting able to march with a bunch of other talented drummers from other groups um, can sometimes bring egos into the mix where uh, people would butt heads. And so far that hasn't happened yet. Everyone's super chill and we all have the common goal of making music together and playing clean. So the entire activity since the beginning has been evolving, like people wearing drums for the first time and marching parades. And then it became doing drum corps and college marching band. And what marching vlogs drumline is becoming is sort of a mixture between the competitive aspect that we have in DCI WGI and sort of the hype aspect that we you would get from a basketball drumline or a hockey team drumline. The way that marching vlogs is setting up the way we're doing rehearsals and the way um, we're getting together learning music and scheduling everything, as well as dealing with all of the, the changing events happening in today's world, um, is definitely going to be a good blueprint for other groups that might want to try that. The battle lay of template, this can be done. You know, we just have to, we have to be smart, we have to be intelligent, we have to be careful, and we have to be safe. Like I said earlier, the reason I chose to be a part of this drumline is because like this is, we're making history right now. Yeah, I'm just really hopeful because we're all doing this for each other and for a community. And to me, that's giving just that last ray of sunshine, you know? My name is Roddy Haley. I play quads at RCC this past season. So I started in elementary school and that was more like a concert band-esque, you know, we all know elementary school. It's, hey kid, play a snare drum, play in time and, and you're good and you're solid, you know? My sister was in PC when I was in like sixth grade. And I was like, wow, you know? 
like that whole like little brother, little big sister idea. What really, really kickstarted it for me was in my eighth grade year, I joined my high school's marching band. And I was like, whatever for me, they needed someone on rack. But literally seeing Matt Regwa, because he taught at the high school, seeing him and seeing how the battery reacts with him and the things they were playing was like, it blew my mind, you know? So then I saw RCC practice one day and then from that rehearsal, from like way back in 2012, I was like, I am doing that. There is no if and buts, you know? This past performing season for indoor with RCC, it was phenomenal. Anything, I, anything and almost everything I could have asked for. When the season finally officially ended, it was just, it was heartbreaking, you know? Like, I understand there's nothing you could do about it. It was kind of like, wave your hands in the air, but at the same time, like, I was so excited to perform that show. It was a pretty sudden shock for everyone involved, I think. For a long time, I'd been dreaming of that moment of being able to, like, play and the UD, you know? Sergio contacted me, I was like, dude, we need a fifth quad, our other had to drop. And I was like, mm, whatever, fine, I'll do it. Just to see what happens. And finally, like now, seeing what we're trying to do and seeing all the music we're playing, I'm just like, wow, like this couldn't have been any better for me. Being in drum lines, playing together, having a good time with your friends, like that's all still possible, even if there's no WGI, no SCPA, no DCI. What's up guys, I'm Elijah Jones and I play quads at Pulse Percussion and Blue Devils. The main differences between like being in like the marching vlogs drumline and being in any other like WGI, DCI group is that like I noticed that it just starts like when it all started, it's just a lot of like my friends and people like that are my peers that are running the entire thing. Like there's no big corporations, no CEOs, no huge sponsorships at the time of the idea. And so it's really kind of just like up to us to be able to bring it all together. How I would view progress for this quad line would just be, just are we better than the, we were the last week on like everything and just kind of comparing us to ourselves since there are no other competition, no scores, things like that. That's all it is. It's just for our own pleasure for us to be like, yeah, we did that. You know? In terms of anything that will be like a, like a major setback, <laughs> I don't I don't really see any like huge setbacks happening so far with the guys except maybe just like sometimes it's kind of like you know we all got our own performance vibes and I know like people at Broken City like those exercises are meant to like jam with RCC is a little more stern pulse is like a little bit in between um, so I've just kind of noticed that when I look around and like it's not a huge thing but I think in the end we're all just gonna have fun however we have fun I can't really imagine seeing any like friction or conflicts happening in the quad line. Like I said, like we've all marched together before, like four fifths of the quad line are like RCC beauty guys. The coolest thing about this drum line is we know how to handle the situation. We know how things should sound like on paper, translating it to, to sonically and what we're doing with our hands. I, I feel pretty free to like do what I need to do in order to you know produce a good sound and blend in with the rest of the four. Even the first reps that we've been playing, it's pretty bad, but then you do two or three or four, and it's like, okay, it's coming together, and then we're gonna meet again next week, and it'll solidify more and more. It'll get there, and we still have so much time to like, make everything clean, I think. Especially with how good we all are, it's just kinda like, once we talk about it, it's like, okay, that needs to be better, it'll be better. And that's that speaks volumes, because half the time, uh, we're kinda just pitting against each other, like, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tick, or I'm not gonna break before he does, and he's gonna mess up before I do, no? And so, honestly, everything we're doing is just what we believe is gonna be fun, what we're, what's just gonna be clean, like that's all dependent on us as the members. 